All right, what's up, guys? So we have uh, we have quite a few things to talk about today. Um, as you can see from the title here, we just went ahead. The Rams went ahead and finished up their first joint practice with the Las Vegas Raiders today, and um, well, some stuff happened. So let's go ahead and get into it. The LA Rams and Las Vegas Raiders are holding joint practices this week, and the first of those two sessions just concluded as of noon on Wednesday. There were reports out of training camp uh, that a fight between the two teams, there was a fight between the two teams, Matthew Stafford getting picked off multiple times by the Raiders' new look defense led by Gus Bradley, and uh, Gus Bradley is a pretty pretty decent defensive coordinator um i know he didn't really do too well as a as a head coach at jacksonville but i mean he's uh he is a pretty decent defensive coordinator and jalen ramsey having a mixed day against Derek carr and hunter ren renfro um apologize if i get that wrong here are some updates to consider as the Rams prepare to face the Raiders in their second preseason game of the year on Saturday. So, let us get into it. So, just a photo of them warming up for their scrimmage. So uh, Levi Damian is a Raiders beat writer who formerly was managing was the managing editor at SB Nation Silver and Black Pride. Had a good vantage point of action from Las Vegas side, and Jordan Rodriguez also had a view from the Rams' perspective. Pretty much the special teams warming up. Those we can watch that here. Nothing too crazy, just just them them guys warming up. All right, so Matthew Stafford, our brand new, um, brand new quarterback, acquired in a trade uh, earlier this past off season, threw three interceptions, um, and threw three interceptions today. So as the tweet here says. Uh, Mr. Russell Douglas uh, picked off Stafford twice. Um, yeah, so this guy had a good day for sure. Uh, whoop, nope, 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 nope. Okay. Former Eagles cornerback Russell Douglas had the second of two picks on Wednesday. Uh, the other went to former L.A. linebacker Corey Littleton, a player hoping to bounce back after struggling in his first campaign with the Raiders. And uh, I remember Corey. Uh, Corey, I will say, is a is a very athletic, and he's a good football player. So hearing him pick off Matt uh, Stafford here isn't much of a surprise. It continues on saying, "Of course, these interceptions are not worth getting worried over." Stafford said he was glad to have made the mistake in practice, and that he was attempting some new things on purpose. That led to the turnovers. Uh, Jordan Rodriguez continuing with that, saying that Stafford said they installed some new things today, and that dictated some of the new looks. And he wanted to try to throw. Try, he wanted to try some throws with them, and is glad he made the mistake in practice. However, he added the picks were on him, and he needs to correct those things moving forward. So. So from what he says, he's saying they installed a few new things on on offense, and he wanted to, and he was kind of testing testing them out to see how it would work, and he got picked three times. And you know that may be true, but you know three picks is three picks, you know. So I have been uh, pretty excited to say the least for to see uh to see. You know how Matthew Stafford looks in our offense. Um, you know, I 
I, I'll admit, I was not too familiar with him. I knew of him, but I did not know a lot about him. And needless to say, after some big throws in training camp, I am very excited. And I am still excited. Though, I will say that he does... He does have some things to prove. He does. He's a... Uh, he, he's someone who, as good as he is and is respected around the league, he's still 0-3 in the playoffs. You know, he uh, he has to be able to prove to me, to Rams Nation, to to everyone that he is able to win in prime, win in prime time, yes, but more so win in a playoff atmosphere. So he does have some things to prove, you know, so... It's, um, I'm looking forward to see how he responds. Today was, I wouldn't say a bad day, but just a mixed day. Three interceptions is not ideal. I will say I am glad this happened because it, it'll, um, it gives them some things to work on. And that is uh, something I will kind of continue, especially for the defense, and I'll get to that in a little bit. But it, it can't be all sunshines and rainbows throughout training camp, all right? I, the, I think the guys do need to be humbled a little bit just so they can, uh, you know, remain, you know, get keep that edge to continue to get better in practice. You know what I mean? Just kind of get get humble just a little bit they can't just be dominating everyone they gotta they gotta you know get beat a few times and forced to look at their game forced to improve and as of right now i'll get to the defense in a second but same goes for matthew stafford um so definitely some things to work on some things to prove i am not worried though you know uh like I said, Gus Bradley is a pretty pretty decent D coordinator. Um, interceptions are going to happen, so you know it's uh, if it's going to happen anytime, I'd rather have it happen in practice as opposed to a game. But considering that these guys are not playing in the preseason, which I have stated before, I am okay with, but. Am of the mind that I wish they did play at least for a, a quarter, a series or two, anything, just to knock the rust off. So things like this won't happen, but at least they have the joint practices, which is better than just going through the motions in a regular practice with your own teammates. So some good stuff there. Corey Littleton picks him off. So Stafford was attempting some new throws. So that was pretty much Stafford's day. Moving on to my man Jalen is hitting full force, but not locking down Hunter Renfro. And as one of my boys texted me while I was at work, um, Jalen was was struggling was struggling a little bit with uh, Hunter here. So says here in this tweet, Jalen Ramsey is not treating this like practice. He's hitting full force. Foster Morrow, sorry, just got in his face about it. Uh, Ramsey has all the confidence and boisterous, boisterous that you expect in a shutdown cornerback. And that can bleed into practice because of the competitive nature in the NFL requires of its stars. However, it seems he wasn't locking down Renfro like many would have expected. Hunter Renfro just torches Jalen right up the sideline. Okay, so this is the Raiders beat writer. Hunter Renfro goes up high over Jalen. Renfro was killing Ramsey today. That was interesting. Uh, Rodrigue reminded us on Wednesday there's no tackling to the ground in joint session. So take everything with a grain of salt. Okay. Apparently didn't stop Jalen from laying the wood on Hunter, at least on one occasion. But, uh, you know, Jalen, you know what, Jalen, it's, um, it'll happen. You know, Hunter, I, I guess, uh, I looked, I looked him up a little bit. He's a, it's like his third year and he's from Clemson. Uh, and he's, and he's, um, performing pretty well. Hey man. Hey, good for you, Hunter. I mean, it's, uh. 
so having a good day in practice, you know, for the Las Vegas Raiders fans, you might have a might have a good wide receiver here. You know, that's 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 pretty awesome. And as I was saying before, it can't be all sunshines and rainbows during training camp. I want our guys to get humbled a little bit. I want our guys to get beaten a little bit. I want them to humble is a not necessarily embarrassed, but like just humbled, you know? They they can't just win all the time. Otherwise they'll take their foot off the gas. You know, they need to keep getting better because they dang sure ain't a perfect team right now. So Jalen, you know, take it with a grain of salt, man. You know, it's uh gotta struggle a little bit. Hunter got the better of you, but you know what, man? It's that's that's pa that's par for the course. You win some, you lose some. You know? Take it with a grain of salt. You know, uh, rest up. Get back at it tomorrow, man. Get better. This is good. I'm I'm, I'm almost happy this happened because I, I don't want... The, the Rams have a lot of hype. Have had a lot of hype this past offseason, which is a nice change. It's a nice change up uh, for any longtime Rams fans out there like myself you know like myself will 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 know that it's the, the rams haven't haven't always been good so it's it, having high expectations for like the rams were like the league is talking about the team is different you know and i know in the past several years they've been pretty successful but uh as a whole the rams are not really known uh, for being hyped up from the media to make some make noise in the in this upcoming football season. So whenever anything like that happens, I I'm sitting here, you know, in, in my in my chair and um thinking, well I don't really know if I like that too much because I don't like I, I prefer the role of the underdog. I, I don't like... I want people not to see us coming. Because I feel like now everyone's going to give us their best. You know what I mean? So, And I don't want our boys... As uh, I believe the saying is reading your own press clippings uh, and getting a bit of a big head on them and uh, possibly underperforming because of that. Now, so when things like this happen, I am, I am, uh, I wouldn't say happy, but it just, it, it's good just to hear that this will probably force Jalen to, uh, you know, just focus in like I'm sure he has been doing, but, uh, it's good just to keep, keep, keep the edge up, you know, keep them on, on their toes, humble them a little bit, you know, so we got a long way to go. You know the season's a long season, man. You gotta, 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 gotta be the best you can be, man. So moving on, Jalen, it's all good, bro. It's all good. Just take it on the chin. It's all good. You'll you'll bounce back. Don't worry. Um, Robert Rochelle gets a pick, so he picked off Marcus Mariota, who is the backup quarterback. And from what it says here. Who it, it says Marcus has been doing pretty good for the Raiders in training camp. So the fact that he picked him off is good. Um, I have um, I'm getting the more I hear about Robert Rochelle, the more excited I I become. You know, I didn't know anything about him when he was drafted, but uh, from all the analysis I hear and the reports from camp, despite his injury, he is. Uh, progressing quite nicely so we shall keep our eyes on him Deshaun shows off his speed Stafford attempted a deep shot to Deshaun who was matched up with Jonathan Abraham Abraham got his head turned around late and was able to force the incompletion though Jackson had a step on him there was some contact but no flag was thrown so uh all right, so Deshaun showed off his speed. Couldn't come up with the catch, though. Sounds like uh, the Raiders 
Raiders came to play today, boys. From from what I'm reading, it, it seems like the Las Vegas Raiders came in uh, uh, hyped up, as I was just referring to a moment ago, with all the hype in the offseason for the Rams. I'm sure there's a few teams, uh, you know, feeling, feeling a little salty, saying, well, we think we're better than them, you know? So uh, we want to go ahead and knock them around a little bit just to show the media, the sports media, that uh, Rams aren't the top dog, we're the top dog. Or we deserve to be respected too. And I am okay with that. Like that is, that's just, that's the competitive nature of sports. And uh, it is something I firmly expect this season. So I just really hope our boys are aware of this fact and are really zeroing in. Because the league is coming. And uh, Las Vegas again. Darren Waller makes a catch on Kenny Young. Okay, so. Let's take a look at this here. Right here. Oh. Let's watch that again. All right, so. Darren Waller is going up against Kenny Young, our one of our linebackers. That was good. That was good. That was that was a good route, good throw. Uh, it looked good. Yeah, Ra Raider Raiders are coming to play today. I, I I can I can respect that, especially since John Gruden is the coach, and John Gruden used to be used to work with Sean. And I'm sure he feels, being the older one, that uh, that he should be getting the same, if not more, respect than Sean has been getting. There's been a lot of hype around Sean McVay as of late, and it wouldn't surprise me if John Gruden might be a little salty about it. I I, I don't know. I have no idea. I'm just uh, it just would not shock me if. Uh, Gruden really wanted to show out against us, just to kind of show that hey, uh, we're, we're okay. So it looks like Travian Howard nearly came away with it. Uh, so Travian Howard, okay, dropped the interception. So, okay, so here we go. So now. Apparently there were some brawls. So uh, according to Damien here, Nevin Lawson got into it with somebody in special teams drills. Teams swarmed to break it up. Okay, so we had a little bit of a fight, a little bit of a brawl in special teams. Okay, no video. So we will wait for that to pop up. And when it does, I will record it because I do love me a brawl. Uh... And like this one here too, big old fight. Hard to tell how it started, but plenty of rolling around on the turf. That is interesting. So we had a second fight, who, which appears to be bigger, and uh, not quite sure how it started, but uh, apparently there was a lot of guys rolling around on the turf, smacking each other around. There's still another practice in a preseason game left to go, and the teams are getting chippy <laughs> already. Amazingly, Richie Incognito was involved, was involved, and things didn't escalate. Okay. Oh, I see. Another scrum, Incognito in the middle of this one, as both sidelines <laughs> run on the field. I want to see this, man. They were... Uh... Man, they were... They, there were some brawls today, apparently. Going WWF on each other. Jesus. Uh, Tremian Ancrum exits the with the team. Doctor due to an allergic reaction. And uh, that is crazy. So he, uh, he his day ended early. I heard it was something he ate, actually. Apparently it was something he ate that caused his allergic reaction. Uh, Sean McVay said Leonard Floyd did not practice. That's no surprise. You know, got to just being smart 
he's okay and he gets quoted here he's going to be okay but we are just we were just smart with him with his ankle which is to be expected you know ankles are no joke you just want to be careful uh they can linger sometimes and if you put too much pressure up on it it can affect the the speed in which it recovers so definitely be careful with him because we need him for the opening night Okay, so they were just being extra cautious. Okay. Scrimmage one is done. Raiders hit the buses. Okay. All right, well, our first joint practice with the Raiders is in the books. Um, Sounds like it was a mixed day. Sounds like the Raiders really got after the Rams. Um, you know, Matthew had, a, had three picks. Uh, he says he was trying some new stuff, which is which is fine. It's good to do it in practice. But hey, three picks is three picks, man. So, God, definitely try and you know try to try to work on that. But hey, you know I'm I'm fine with that. Jalen got got torched apparently a little bit uh, throughout the day, um, and you know it, the Raiders from what it seems like really came after us. So. Take it on the chin, take it with a grain of salt, Rams. It's just, uh, it happens. You know, you get, uh, it's good to get humbled a little bit, you know, make make you zero in. So, I am some good stuff. Good stuff. I, I do want to see what started those brawls, uh, especially the big one. You know, I'm curious what happened there. And, uh, yeah, and interesting to see what happens during the game. Uh, this 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 Saturday. So we we shall see. We shall see. But I'm gonna go ahead and cut it off there. Um uh, uh yes, I'll go ahead and cut it off there. Guys, thanks for uh stopping by today. I will catch you guys on the next one. And as always, go Rams.